There's 18 of us now who work here at G-Diapers and we're just a kind of mid-sized company, I would say, um, between marketing, operations, finance, and product development. We wear a lot of hats, each of us, in our jobs. We are unified by our goal to offer a diaper that will make the way we're diapering today, the disposable diapers that most of us are diapering with today, obsolete. As the industry changes, the product needs to change with that, with regards to end of life. 55 years ago, disposable diapers didn't even exist. It was, you cloth diapered your child, and, and there were all sorts of problems with that, but moms were primarily in the home, so it wasn't as much of an issue with regards to flexibility and freedom of being able to travel and go outside the home. Well, fast forward 55 years, and we have a consumer base that doesn't know anything but that, really. Um, so in that, there's all sorts of causes of landfills and where it goes to and what happens to it. Um, we know that just about 5% of the population actually uses disposable diapers right now, and so as we see consumption growing across the world, um, we look at the numbers here in the States. People throw away 50 million disposable plastic diapers every day, um, and if we think about that kind of use growing and growing across the globe, um, that's just not something the planet can handle. My name's Jason Graham Nye, and I'm the CEO and co-founder of G Diapers. My other founder is my wife, Kim, and uh, we're from Sydney, Australia. 11 years ago, we had a son, and uh, we uh, decided that the world needed an alternative to regular disposable diapers, and we, we found something that was interesting, a flushable, compostable baby diaper. Um, and we loved it so much as customers in Sydney that we bought the rights to the, the, uh, the patents and the intellectual property for the rest of the world outside of Australia. We have uh, a lot of distribution with independent family-owned um, co-ops and those kinds of retailers that have supported us from the very beginning when we had just landed and we needed support. <laughs> So those, those environments for us are really important because they're high touch. They give consumers um, a place where they can have a look at the product and learn more about it. So um, it's been good partnerships with those kinds of retailers over the years. So our goal is really to create the next diaper, the diaper for the future. Um, so we're always pushing our innovation. That's something I'm really proud of, continuing to move forward what our diaper can be. Um, and also trying to build community, connect with parents, spread the word um, that diapering is a large decision and that parents don't have to choose something that they don't feel great about, um, that there's an option out there that makes sense to us. It makes sense to have a product that our child can use that can actually be turned back into usable soil um, in the best practice or if it needs to be flushed down the toilet when you're out and about, it's a pretty great way to, to take care of it as well.